Hi guys, I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you my favorite Thai food, my newest favorite Thai food, Papri King. If I pronounce it wrong, just be nice. <laughs> Papri King is a spicy curry star fried green beans with some other protein either chicken, pork or beef I'm going to eat beef today because I think that pungent red curry spiciness really goes well with beef so I have a 10 ounce of ribeye right here you can actually use just beef chuck or skirt steak but I highly recommend to use a little more of the tender cut of beef because it goes really well with the green beans and then some of you guys are like oh you're slicing the ribeye like this is such a waste I don't think so I think a ribeye is beautiful in this dish that's why I'm using it but it's all up to you I love ribeye that melts in your mouth together with the sauce and tender beef and the green beans and what's my hands doing over here I don't even know so anyways right now the beef is ready I'm going to chop three cloves of garlic I like my paprika king with like a little extra garlic -y. that's why I'm adding this much garlic but you can actually omit the garlic part if you're making this for like a little romantic dinner I guess then maybe like kind of reduce the garlic amount so next time you like after the dinner you go you know what I mean and here I have a 10 ounce which is the same amount as a beef of long green bean or snake green bean or they have like a little different names you can easily find these at your local Asian grocery stores but if you cannot find it just use a regular green bean they, they work totally fine as well okay I'm just gonna cut them into one bite size about one and a half to two inch long next you will need three to five carrot lime leaf again if i butchered the name again just be nice let's be nice to each other okay you can usually find this carrot lime leaf from your local chinese or thai rest uh, not restaurant i mean maybe restaurant you can ask them <laughs> but i meant your grocery store you can find them if you cannot find it i don't know there's not really a substitute but it has like a little spicy flavor let me taste like So how to prepare the tarif lime leaf is just fold in half in lengthwise and then take this thick stem off. Lime leaf already a little tough to chew. I mean you don't have to eat it but in case if it gets in your mouth because it's in your food <laughs> uh, that the middle part of this thick one is really not that pleasant to you know chew. It's really hard to chew so I'm just gonna take it out like this and before we get to cooking I want to explain about the curry paste I'm gonna use today so I decided to use a store-bought Thai red curry paste since this is so easy to find in all around the grocery store regular grocery stores but if you want to know how to make Thai red curry from scratch let me know comment down below then I will make the recipe this brand is quite sweet so all other seasoning I'm adding into this recipe is based on this Thai red curry that this brand and this is not sponsored I'm just letting you know because I'm so nice all right let's heat up our wok to over high heat the highest heat you can go because we are going to sear our beef first so add about a tablespoon of oil into the wok when the wok and oil is nicely heated up you can tell by the little smokes going on and the oil is a little wavy and dancing this is time to add the beef we're gonna season the beef with a little pinch of salt and pepper we do not want to overcook the beef we just want to nice and sear then cook about three quarter way that's why super high heat is very important to sear the beef crispy outside at the edge but it's still juicy and tender inside all right i think they're good i'm gonna remove the beef on a plate the beef are not fully cooked don't worry because we are going to toast again with the green beans and all the sauces later so it's gonna finish cooking at the end all right i'm gonna add another tablespoon of oil it's really depending on how much oil has left on your wok um, just make sure to cover the wok so it can be maybe two teaspoons 
and we're gonna add three tablespoons of this Thai red curry paste. And make sure to turn off the heat while you're adding this though, cause we do not wanna burn the curry paste. If you want extra spicy, like I mentioned, this Thai red curry uh, paste is really quite not that spicy and more sweeter side. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon of Thai red pepper flakes. And my recipe is so special, why? Because I'm going to add my homemade chili paste or chili sauce, my mother chili sauce that I have a recipe, oops. I have a recipe right here. <laughs> now turn the heat back on over high heat. And we are just going to stir fry this curry paste with the chili flakes. Stir fry them about a minute or two. Let's add the garlic as well. The fragrance is so beautiful now. I'm going to add all my green beans. And the curry lime leaf. Just stir fry away. When the green bean is coated with all this beautiful red curry paste sauce, we are gonna add quarter cup of water to kind of thin it out and steam the green beans. Season with two tablespoons of fish sauce. And half tablespoon of palm sugar or honey. You can use regular sugar too. I just like using palm sugar in my Thai cooking. And now on, we are just going to stir, stir, stir occasionally. No, no, right now it looks like a lot of sauce, but don't forget about the beef. We are gonna toss the beef in this sauce too. I like my green bean. It has a little more crunch texture. That's why how I like it. If you wanna cook the green bean a little longer, go ahead and do that. And if your sauce is getting a little too thick and start to burn it, go ahead and add about a tablespoon of, water, a tablespoon of water at a time. And now I'm gonna add this beef, all the juice and everything. Easy and simple, what's that? There's no excuse to not to make paprika at paprika, paprikin at home. So paprikin is usually served with warm cooked jasmine rice, so I'm gonna do that too. Are you ready to dig in? All right, so in Thai, they actually use a fork. Uh, chopsticks are not used traditionally. So I'm going to eat my Thai food with my fork too. I don't want to breathe, I just want to chew, 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 and swallow, 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 and just eat it. Seems like basically like the breathing is wasting all my time. Mm. my paprikin Thai star fried green beans in spicy curry paste please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and idea of Asian home cooking thank you so much for watching me today and remember you can always cook Asian food at your house making it easy and fun I'm Sanggyeong Longast and this is Asian at home and I will see you next time bye Mwah. and no I'm not putting my fork down even though it's a dirty AF I'm not putting my fork down sorry mm -hmm. Good.